Tanya and welcome back to my channel. So excited to have you here. Really quick guys, uh, before we dive into this video which you are going to love, I want to make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I've got some new videos coming out very soon and turn on the bell so that you get notified and you don't miss any of that. We are talking about ranking, sales, marketing and the best product. So if you want to get more sales and how to start your Amazon FBA business, then make sure you are subscribed and notified whenever I release my video. So with that said, I am going to dive into today's video, which you are going to love absolutely. I ask a lot of you on my Instagram, Facebook, YouTube to let me know if you have any questions about account suspension, Amazon account suspension. And yes, I got many questions that I have them all here with all the answers. So this is kind of the game plan and it should be a good one. I can't wait to jump on. So let's dive in and answer all your questions about why your Amazon seller account suspended right after opening. I remember when I started Amazon, I was so pumped and so excited. I can almost feel the rush of blood in my brain and my hands were getting sweaty. I just wanted to go and conquer the world. I can see the dollars raining on me with this like one click on Amazon. I, I quickly set up my, desk, my, my chair, my desktop, everything. And then I got tired in the process. And I started filling my details and once I was done, I filling it up, I was felt so accomplished that I conquered the world. I told my mother that I will be an Amazon seller in few days. With that being said and so pumped, I felt like butterflies in my stomach. And the next I want to go is the bathroom. So I went quickly and I was like back in like throne, my, my computer and I refreshed my email and I saw one email from Amazon. I was like so excited that I didn't see what is written. I just opened it and expecting it to see the welcome message from Amazon. But when I opened it, it started like started saying that Amazon suspended my account. That moment I felt shattered. I felt like I was going to faint. My hands, my feet, they all felt so cold. I don't know what to do. So um, guys, I totally understand the situation and I totally understand how it feels and why like, that is why I decided to answer some of your common questions in this video so that you don't have to feel the same way I did. Okay, so let's read, read your first um, question, which is, I opened the seller account and the day after I got approved, the next day, Amazon asked me to update my account. So I tried to do that and what happened is I added my account to Japan, France, UK and all other available markets. I am not sure why I did that but naively I mark all these markets and I get charged for that as well. The next day I got suspended. I still wait for their response and the reasons but that was all I did and everything happened in the last three to four days. My first seller account on Amazon ever. All my paperwork is correct and matches all the standards. When I was opening and then something goes wrong. I'm not sure is it because of all those other Amazon marketplaces that I make or I want to sell on or something else. Is anyone here with a similar issue? Okay, the answer is that when you open an account, you need to set up for one marketplace. And then once you start selling, you can add an update for other marketplaces. Also contact the seller account and ask the reason. Try to remove all the marketplaces and start with one only. You can also check the details in your email about the reason and then appeal accordingly. You know, most of the time we never carefully read the email and we start to panic about it. Always read the email and see why you are suspended. If you are not sure, you can always ask them again about it. But really, read the email carefully and then follow the process that they are asking for. Okay, so the question here is, what happens if we move to another state and change the address? It will be deactivated again and we will be needed to prove with the new utility bill on that address. Or will it be enough that we change our address without any bill proof? and deactivating thanks okay so uh, you need to let amazon know about it 
the change like of the address as your IP address will also change. Therefore, you need to inform them and provide them what they ask for. It's always good to keep Amazon involved with your activities as I think it will help you to make better relationships with them which can help you grow in the future. One of my students uh, made her Amazon account and, and she got approved with all the addresses and bills. But right after she starts selling, she has to move out as her father died and she wants to start uh, living with her mother as she was alone. She shifted in like one week and the last day when she came to uh, pick her little stuffy chair that she loved and cannot live without, she emailed Amazon and explained all the situation. The moment she came home, she um, wanted like to log in and she wanted to check what happened. She saw an email from Amazon that they asked her for new proofs and all the other kind of things. So she gave her and there was no problem for her. So these things doesn't matter as long as you are transparent with everything and follow the terms and conditions of Amazon. So let's go to the next question. Um, I registered my Amazon seller account and in all documents, I have my first name only but Amazon asks for last name and it can be skipped. So I put last name but in every document only my first name is mentioned, not as my last name. Will Amazon suspend my account? or not please advise me what to do okay it um usually it doesn't matter that your documents mention your last name or not amazon usually sees the name that should matches so if your first name is matching with your documents then that would be enough if they feel any more explanation then they will ask you for more documents you can provide them and um, you, it will be done. So it won't be any problem. So I don't think so it's any big issue. You can try that totally it will work. Amazon is not that strict guys. Uh, they love their sellers because you know that they are the one who are contributing to their platform. They just want to protect the buyer and seller from facing any issues in future. So always take their email and instructions in a positive way and follow them so that you don't fall in any problem. Really quick guys, if you want to know a detailed discussion on uh, how to, um, the reasons and why your Amazon seller account got suspended, then you can watch my cool video here. It can help a lot of sellers successfully getting their Amazon accounts back. So do check out this video. I will also link in the description down below. So let's see another question. We made a second account for the US as the seller support told me to make two accounts and link them if want to sell in the, U, in the European market and US. Other European account got immediately suspended as soon as our uh, American account got accepted and suspended. I do not have the required documents, gas, water, electricity bill or internet bill on my name as my parents pay for them. What should I do now? I handed in a bank statement and like bank statement instead. Okay, you should send an email to the seller account and let them know about this. If you have proof of email that showed the permission to make two seller accounts, then you can send that to them. And also um, the documents should be the same name. There no question why you cannot provide them because if you don't have the, they will suspend your account definitely. Then um, there is also very important to be on your own name. If you are not, if they are not on your own name, then you will open an account on your person name who got all these documents. It can be your parents, brother, sister, whatever you like, whoever you trust, you can do that. I remember one day I received a call from a student. The moment I picked up the phone, I could hear the thrashing sound, which I didn't seem good. Like it didn't seem good to my ears. For the moment, I just looked twice at my phone to see if I got the right person like on call. I have never seen her talking like about, you know, um, you are really troubled and you can't control yourself. I tried to bring the phone closer to me and listen to what she was actually saying. She told me, um, oh my God, I don't have anything on my name. I won't be able to like sell all my learning training throughout this time will be wasted. I, I listened to her for some time and I wanted to make her like quiet, but I wanted to take out all her fears out. I can almost feel her pain. At last, for 10 minutes of listening, I asked her to calm down and listen to me. Suddenly, there was silence on both sides. I could hear her breath, which she was anxious, like she was anxious 
to know the answer. I told her that you can totally make a new account on your parents or your friend's name uh, whom you trust. The moment I said that, I heard the tum 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 sound. She held the phone and she, I didn't know what happened. After like an hour or two, phone rang and I can see my student's number. I quickly picked up and I wanted to explain in detail, assuming that she did not hear me properly. I got it. I got it. it to my amaze, I said, what? She said, I made my account. She used her parents name and documents and voila, she was done. So guys, nothing is difficult as long as you de like you have determination to do and you have the right person to guide you throughout your journey. This is very important. Okay, now let's jump on to another question. I registered and my account got suspended right away. Really not sure why it got suspended in the first place. The reason they are giving me is um, we found that the account is related to an account that may not be used to sell on our site. As a result, you may no longer sell on Amazon.com. I appeal the dis decision explaining that my boyfriend tried to register but we could not find his account back. So we decided to open an account under my name and got suspended right away. Do you think there's any chance that will be reactivated? Should I call them? It's been a few days already. Okay guys, so, um, so you are being accused as having two accounts. They won't open any account now as they found you suspicious and you have like opened multiple accounts without Amazon's permission. So um, her, um, you need to deactivate and delete both accounts and make a fresh account with all the appropriate details. Also use separate IP addresses. Very important. If you want to know which documents to provide, then check out my video here. I will also link in the description down below so you can check that out. Okay, so now let's move on to another question and that is I haven't submitted the utility bills during my first sign up and I think this has led to my account suspension. After that, I have uh, sent in an appeal with just PNGs of my utility information but I did not add in my messages or side notes, just in pictures of utility bills. Since I live in Malaysia, my bills are all in Malay language. It's been days and they haven't gave me any reply. Do you think I have a chance to recover their account? If not, what should I do to deal with this situation? Thank you. Okay, nice question. Always remember guys, you cannot provide in whatever language you want. There are some of the accepted languages uh, that you need to provide in order to do that. And you need to translate your documents in that language and then provide that. Also, you need to be patient. <laughs> Talking about patience, I want to admit that I am also bad at this. Whenever me and my family go to restaurant and the moment we sit in, I'm the first one to ask for a menu and also the first one to finish and then ask for the bill. My mom always say, oh God, you have no patience. Why you are in such a hurry always? But when it comes to my work, my business, I am with a lot of patience. So adopt that in your business and in your life maybe and you will see a lot of success don't follow me on this next question is amazon has deactivated my account and said that they have deactivated my account because it's related to another seller central account while i haven't signed up before can you give me some suggestion thanks okay this is a very typical um, problem that people face and this happens due to the ip address that has been used by other sellers one of the students bought a second hand laptop and she made her Amazon seller account. The moment she made and put his uh, like her hands off the laptop, she got the email from Amazon saying that her Amazon account is suspended. Whoops. She told me about this problem and to I told her to immediately change the laptop and also the IP address and then try for that. She did exactly like that and in that moment, all of that, she got accepted and now she's a six-figure seller now. So quite good for her. Yeah, so you need to be really, really careful about these little, little things because they really can make a huge difference in your account suspension. Guys, the next question we have here is that my account was suspended right after registration and they asked to submit a bill. I have submitted them with a water bill and the electric bill, but they are rejecting and always sending auto emails. I use VPN while creating this account. Okay, so you need to check the bills 
that you are submitting and with the correct format because um, sometimes little things like the format of documents can be the reason for that most probably you have to use some specific formats like png jpeg or pdf and it should be original and no amendments no should be done on that also never ever ever guys use vpn to make your account amazon is a trillion dollar company and they have the best tech people in the world and they can truly track the account with vpn and however suspend that so right away um you need to stop using vpn they are not allowed don't use that so let's check the another question our account was not open they were notified that they could not verify documents we tried to apply twice but they continue to say that documents cannot be verified we submitted a passport and a credit card statement we are really stuck okay so i'm not sure why you are getting rejected as you are doing all the verification process correctly i would recommend that you open a new account now with the new ip address and new device new name make sure you deactivate your account and then make a new one new account will help you to be accepted very soon and believe me most of my students tried this and it helped so do try that okay my account is um suspended right after registration the reason is because i do another account for buying not selling the account was never applied for selling and used for uh, selling and uh, it's only for buying what should i do i try to explain this to them but i still do not hear any response appreciate your help okay so as you already email them and then wait for the reply patience patience is the key here also after some time like two weeks you can follow uh, my appeal letter and email them if you want you can get that for free in my free step by step guide um you can go to the link here or in or here sorry it's uh, actually mirror image i i didn't see that okay you can see it on the description down below so do check that out all right i hope you love this video guys and you got tons of information from this if you did then i want to tell you really quickly about my new five step amazon fba guide it has five step simple step that can take you from a total beginner to an expert and let you make more money Right now I'm giving it for free on saniabillofficial.com there will be a link on your screens and also in the description down below just click on it and you will get the free copy of this right now make sure you get this right now because I start before I start charging for it so go to saniabillofficial.com and download it and with that being said you are done getting that book click here for another video that will show you how to start and get more sales on your Amazon FBA business. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Let's go!